What's up everybody? Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back. So I had a really interesting day today. Um, I finally got a property under contract. It's been a couple weeks for $385. I'm really excited about that. And I wrote an offer for $660 negotiating that deal. Also, I'm working on some merch, right? Let's go. Got the diamond right here coming soon. So be on the lookout for that as well. But today's video, um, I wanted to talk to you about this because when I made the Amazon gets into real estate video, I had a lot of comments and several were very interesting. And I'll read you um, part of one that I thought was really interesting. One person said that the future of real estate will consist of Amazon unlocking the seller's doors and buyers viewing it without an agent while the seller observes the showing from their mobile device. And what I want to know is right now from everybody watching in the comments, what do you really think about that? Do you think that property owners are actually going to let Amazon unlock your door, let buyers go in there unaccompanied with no agent, no supervision, walk into the house, look at the house with no one there while the seller's watching from their mobile device? If that is the scenario, my vote is that no. They will not do that. Some might, not saying everyone, I'm just saying the majority. Why would you let someone you don't know into your house, right? There's a lot of valuables in your house, okay? There's a lot of personal items. There's a lot of things that money can't even replace because they're priceless. Why would you let a stranger walk into your house? That's my first thought. Um, there were some other interesting comments here. Uh, one guy said Amazon makes 180 million a day. They'll end up buying Realogy out and owning the industry. Nobody can compete with 180 million a day. You know, um, and the same guy that made that first comment, he said he totally agrees. Um, you know, Amazon already, they already let Amazon into people's homes, you know, to, to drop off packages. You know, so what's next? Amazon's gonna unlock the door, allow you to show while the seller watches from a smartphone. Welcome to the future. Okay, then we have a millennial, like a guy that's 20 years old. And he says that he disagrees. He thinks no matter what, human interaction can't be replaced. He thinks things like this will weed out the people who shouldn't be agents and the one who actually provide value will be the only ones left. I wouldn't under underestimate the biological need for other humans during large decisions. People will continue to pay thousands for that. So bravo on that because that's kind of what I believe too. The industry is going to change, but it's going to it's going to weed out people who, like the young man said, doesn't necessarily need to be in the industry because they're not bringing value. They're just there to to try to make money. They're just going through the motions. They're not really there to truly bring value and help people. Value personal brand, helping people, that's going to be the wave of the future in real estate. Those real estate agents are going to continue to thrive. Will the industry change? Will we have to make adjustments? Absolutely. Everything's always changing. You always have to make adjustments. To continue into that, that comment, the guy that made the, the comment about the $180 million, he says he has to disagree because people are buying cars from vending machines. Okay? So the 20 year came back. He said the vast majority of car sales are through a dealership. So he's spitting facts at them. And he says a portion of the market will be taken away due to things like Amazon or Redfin, but the majority will stay how it is. And he says, I'm 20. So I'd say I'm, I'm younger and my friends my age are terrified to take any step into real estate without me helping them. Cars are a different ball game as well as a car is something compared to a house. So he's saying cars and houses are, are different. Um, and most people who buy brand new cars shouldn't be buying them. So that tells you what type of people they are right off the bat. So here we have a 20 year old educating us on how 20 year olds think. And that is that they don't necessarily want to get into a real estate transaction, something they know nothing about, something that is very complex. They need someone to guide them through that. So what I want to do is I want to open up the debate right now in the comments. I want to know what you think. Do you think that property owners in five years and 10 years are going to actually allow Amazon to unlock your door and let buyers just freely walk through there while they're watching on their smartphone? 
Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But I do want to know what you think, so please comment below. This is going to help me. I'm gathering data. I'm gathering info. I want to know what people think so that I can be on top of the game where I can make the adjustments that I need to make to stay on top and then also inform you guys of what I'm doing to stay on top. So all of your comments help all of us go a long way here, so I really appreciate them. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you're enjoying the videos, the podcast, the Instagram, everything that I'm doing. I hope you're getting a lot of value out of it. You're using it to crush it. You're using it to dominate. You're using the mindset behind it to take a lot of pressure off of yourself that you don't have to worry about all the little things out there and you can just get out there, be yourself, and, and achieve those goals that you want to achieve. Tomorrow I'm going to be live right here with John Seabree on the podcast. John Seabree is the CEO of the Missouri Realtors that serves 20,000 agents up there in Missouri. So I'm going to be asking him all these questions about Amazon as well. So it'll be real interesting to hear his take on it. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you and I'll see you tomorrow on the podcast. Let's go. Thank you.